wonderful people, welcome back to Sonic Heroes Action Replay. Oh, thank you. We gotta rescue the city under the control of Eggman. Eggman? He took over the city? It actually looks pretty calm for him taking over the city. Oh, his, his robots are taking control of everything. Can't you tell by the sweeping landscape that we had to show you? Check it out. I saw, like, two robots. Is that good enough? So now we enter into the, uh, I guess, second world, the second set of levels. Uh, it's the great city, Grand Metropolis! You know what? I'm liking the color palette here. It's like a futuristic city. It's yeah. not it's not too bad. It, look, it looks pretty. There's a couple of annoying aspects about it, but it's it's not too bad. Oh, that's you got, one. You got these things, you know, it's, <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's almost a one-way street. Almost. Almost. But you can make your way through if you really need to. All right. I think it's meant to be a way to guide you forward, as there's not much in the way of directional arrows. So, uh, hey, hey, can I, uh, can I extrapolate on a uh, statement that was made earlier in this level? Uh, yeah. The fact that Eggman apparently made a renewable energy source, and now he has infinite energy? Did I see that correctly, or am I just, uh, am I just a loser? What are you, what are you talking about? It, uh, just, it just said his robots are attacking the city. I don't know how you got uh, he got an obtainium out of it. Uh, well, I saw energy and I thought, wow, Eggman's doing good. Th th this isn't his city. Well, okay, if he's taking over the city, then that's that's a bad. That's thing. what makes this metropolis so grand. <laughs> Is the fact that he took it over, or <laughs> that he hasn't taken it over yet? So they want you to to get in these places and hold B. So you can push and pull these things. It's just busy work. But. Don't you want to put the pin in the hole? Yeah, that is that is enticing. So if you put the pin in the hole, then you can move on with the video game. Mm -hmm. And also, it's just satisfying. I do like moving on with the video game. So I guess I better put the pin in the yeah. hole. But do I have to take such a attraction to the idea, though? Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on how much you want to put the pin in the hole. I, 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 well, no more than I have to, I suppose. Well, here, here we go. Let, let's try it again. I, I mean, the, the the situation is just so neutral to me. I can skip it and not miss a damn thing, really. Oh, damn it. I just wanted to see you put the pin in the hole again. Uh, you skipped right over. Uh, That's not good. Hell That's not good. No. No! <laughs> <laughs> tails, traffic. God damn it, tails! Tails, traffic, tails, traffic, <laughs> tails. <laughs> I kind of want to see older Tails kind of doing this kind of stuff, you know, teenage stuff. It's Sonic being the concerned out of love father. Uh, break, break, break. I mean, I mean, he already flies a plane, so I don't know how much different a land vehicle would be for such a smart little kid like him. So, uh, I, I'm so sorry I missed the premiere of the first episode of Sonic Heroes. My, My apologies. No, you're not. Yes. No, no, I'm, I'm very you sorry. If you were watching, you just, did, you just didn't say. Because I realized that rewatching the first cutscene. Tails fucking abandoned his abandoned his plane, and it just goes off into the distance and crashes. I can't remember if I mentioned anything about that, but I noticed it upon second viewing. The, the plane's just gone. Uh, these these uh, computer cutscenes, these CGI cutscenes, they're not exactly um, the best. But I wanna fly high, don't you know, UDJ? You know that song. I do know that song, and I adore that song. And you, you will not, and you will, you will not uh, make me sing the whole thing right now. Well, that's fine. You just put the pin in the hole, which means we can move on with the video game. Well, you know, some nights, uh, just uh, when I'm alone in my bed, I just go about yearning. I want to be strong. I really want to be trusted. Oh. When I'm alone in my chair, I just uh, go about wishing. I want to be cool. I also want to be like him. Mm -hmm. But but that's not something I can do so easily. Oh, okay. Well, I want to fly high so I can reach the <laughs> highest of all the heavens. Thank Somebody you. will be waiting for me, so I've got to fly higher. <laughs> got to keep going. <laughs> yeah, all right. You, you, you got to keep going. You got to put the pin in the hole, and you got to move on with the video. <laughs> I will believe in myself. <laughs> this is the only start for me. Oh no, you fell. That's that's okay. We're yeah, gonna move on. So, uh, branching paths. Great Sonic game. Great game. They don't they don't branch that much. Oh well. Maybe one area has a better chance to get a key than the other one. Come Maybe on, I'm, got tr more I'm trying wings, to make it a bit more points. enticing here. What what are you doing? I'm playing Sonic Heroes. <laughs> How do you think it's going? <laughs> he, Die already! <laughs> he, he said with his arms crossed. <laughs> How do you think it's going? <laughs> Is this how you kill the turtle thing? I, I understand many people enjoyed this game, but mm -hmm. I, 
I'm sorry, I'm not one of them. Well, it seems the connection is, you know, hey, I played this game as a kid, I have a lot of nostalgia for it. I played this game as, well, as a teenager, Ah, uh -huh. see, there's the difference. I, yeah, I was just starting high school when I played this. And I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> you flew too high, you put the pin in the hole, you didn't move on with the video game, but you did at least beat it back in the day, right? See, look at me, I'm trying to do my Adventure 2 stuff where I'm trying to destroy the metal thing by hitting B to roll into it, but it doesn't happen because that's not what Sonic does in this game! See, you were like one of the five people who owned a Dreamcast and Sonic Adventure at the same time. Excuse so. me! <laughs> Excuse me! The Dreamcast was a bestseller for the couple weeks. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping I'd get a response to, to the extent of, Excuse me! It's not like that I got a Sega Nomad or a Pico! <laughs> were those handhelds? Sega Nomad was basically a handheld Dream... Uh, Dreamcast. Genesis. And, uh, I don't remember that one. I only remember the Game Gear. A friend of mine had a Sega Pico, which is basically like a PC ed edutainment type thing. Oh, that's right. I do remember that. Okay. Had, had like pages. It was. It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was uh, magic to a seven-year-old seeing it for the first time. Oh yeah, you. definitely. Let me tell you the fuck what. <laughs> seven-year-old UDJ. Yeah. It's a fall. You like touch the thing on the page, and it happens on the screen. Oh my fucking god! This is the craziest shit, man. How do you do this? No, that was definitely seven-year-old UDJ. Oh, oh, Holy yeah. fuck, dude! Ver verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> verbatim. Verbatim. <laughs> I know. I know. I don't. I, I didn't normally curse until I hit sixth grade, but when I was seven, I was a. Uh, that, that one day when I saw the Sega Pico, I was like, holy fucking shit, dude! And then he never said a single swear word ever again until 7th grade, of course. It, it, it kind of happened uh, during the reactions, like, holy fucking shit, dude! What the fuck? Oh my goddamn shit! That poop is cool! And you censored one word. <laughs> Only one word. Holy friggin' gosh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, careful! <laughs> Hey, there we go! We're learning grind rails, damn it! Oh, sorry, excuse me, kids game. We're learning grind rails, fuck! I just like... I don't like the grinding either. Maybe it was nitpicking. Because, you know, it didn't feel like Adventure 2! Where it was like, you know, refined here, it's just here it is again! And it's not as good now. See, I'm, I'm so spoiled by modern Sonic games because of the quality of life changes that have happened game after game after game. Exactly. I was, I was, uh, said that in an earlier episode, because yeah, yeah. I, I want to jump, I want to see that reticle, you know? I want to fly high, I want my put, put the pin <laughs> in the hole <laughs> continue with the video. Oh, I, I, I have to stop. I must stop. Like, we need to stop Robotnik from taking over the city, am I right? <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. <laughs> Fuck yeah, get bitches. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, you're right, Sonic. So, Sonic, you need to get off that cocaine there, dude. Well, like, I need to get on the cocaine! <laughs> what is this traffic accident happening here? I, I think Are that we... was a stage hazard that I missed. <laughs> well, because... well, at the same time... You idiot! You dropped the cars too soon! I think it's funny, it, like, you left Sonic and Tails underneath a pancake maker <laughs> in the middle of the city after, after completely avoiding the trap, so... Yeah. Hey, good job on beating the level. No, I died. I died once, so you know what that means. I'm gonna get a terrible score. Seven minutes, fifty-eight rings. Mm. That's that. Uh, yeah, mm. D. No <laughs> D for don't have any time for this, man. Do it over. D for did great. Did great. Did did great. Oh, did great. I did. I did great. You I, did great. I did, I did it. D for did it. Not as good as E for enormous failure, but you did enormous mm. success. Oh, my apologies. So, My special apologies. stage, Act 2. You're thinking, yeah. oh, that means that's it's Emerald time? No, we're in Act 2, meaning that this is Act 2 of 7, because we're in Level 2 of 7. Now they've added bombs! The Wait. jerks! What? I gotta do this legitimately, because I don't have codes on right now. Wait, run that by me again? This is... It. So, it says, special stage, Act 2, and you're thinking, oh, that means it's time for an Emerald. Yeah. No, it's Level 2. It's the second level of the special stage. So, the special stages are their own stages, they, with, complete with acts and everything? I think they are tied specifically to the level. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So you won't find the stage, like, if you go back and play the first level again? No, this is only, you know, from level 2-1. This is, this is basically... Level 2-1's special stage. I get you, I get you. You're kind of jittering around a little bit. <laughs> just just absolutely going ape Well, you know tails. how these Sonic games are, perfectly controlled in every way. Oh yeah, they 
makes sense all the time. They have the best stories. Uh, when they have uh, DLC episodes, they are the perfect length, and also the story is not hilarious. Episode Shadow was probably the funniest thing to come out of Sonic Forces, don't add me. Like, kind of, I've kind of forgotten a lot of Sonic Forces. No, it's okay, you didn't miss much. The only thing I remember most was the music and how much it kicked ass. I don't understand how Sonic can have consistently extremely aggravating, like, gameplay and story and all that, but really kick-ass music. You want to know why? I'll tell you the reason why. Which composer? Sega. Oh, just Sega? Sega games have incredible music yes, all they the do. time. All the time. Constantly incredible music. Love your music, Sega. Game can be any game can go anyway though. <laughs> that is very true. Oh yeah, good job on beating uh, Special Stage Wood. The, Second the part to two. Fortunately, it doesn't really uh, give you any uh, score, but it just gives me a single one up. You got a one up. That's that's all right. Nice, I guess. Thanks. I mean, when you're getting ranks for, like, D for did good, yeah, Well, now it's time to get a C rank for codes! Heading back, heading back to Team Dark, and, uh, well, let's, uh... So, let's get some insanity Eggman's going. Behind Eggman's behind the traffic, Whatever driving on top of buildings. Any objections? Negative. <laughs> Is this the energy oh! That's oh, she big! Oh! Rouge had a growth spurt. Uh, sh she very big! It's, uh... Uh, well, oh, was, okay. was she was she always that big? Uh, I don't remember. You're right, I think she, I think she was. You're I mean, right. on certain websites. Yeah, no, she, no, yeah, no, she she was oh, always. Okay, that. we're back. We're back. Okay, okay fine. She's uh, all right. Oh. Uh, must have been a figment of my imagination. I mean, I, I just must blinked. have been. Yeah, yeah she, I mean, like she's not even here anymore. Oh, there she, <laughs> there she is. Hello. This is just bringing back Shadow the Hedgehog memories. The great just memories. Flying into the, the great skybox. Mm, so the void good. underneath. Look how beautiful it is. Look at that totally not from Google skybox. I totally want this to be the plot to the next Sonic film. Or Sonic game. Going so high that you break the skybox? Uh, no. A gigantic crater destroys the city. Uh, oh. Just a big void of nothing. Well, I mean, as long as you don't ruin the characters for the third Sonic film, I think we're good. I mean, I think they... Yeah, yeah, as long as they ruin the characters, and then Sonic's like, Hey, man, let's get a brewski! Oh, no! Oh, come on! Oh, no! Bye! Oh, no! Oh, what? Uh, no. <laughs> and there he goes. Dude, you're wasting all your lives. Stop. Can you at home tell when I get frustrated? Is it when you die over and over and over again? <laughs> if you guess when I die over and over again! Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. And, and then just, you hear kids' laughter in the background. Yay! <laughs> I won! <laughs> I won the UDJ game show! <laughs> Can you tell when I get angry at the Sonic game? <laughs> You've won the UDJ game show contest! Oh boy! What do I win? And the game show's face just... His, his host just... Just freezes his face. Just, win? Win? What does it mean to win? Win. How does one win? Win. Is there such a thing as winning? Because I'll tell you what loses. Not being able to traverse any further in the level. Oh, did you skip a flag? Oh, okay. Because cool. I use chaos Oops. control that freezes everything, even the stage realizing when flags are made. And there are invisible walls to make sure that I don't go any further than I need to at the appropriate time. Interesting. Okay, so you... Uh, well... Like, it really doesn't want me to be uh, well, on... It does not want me to be near that thing until it is done with its and, animation. Yeah, that that's odd. See, action replay, when you break a game, like, over your knee like this, we can figure out so many things about game development. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Just, it's just fun to see. In fact, that's kind of what, what uh, wanted me to do this. this you know, uh, we were looking at Sonic Adventure 2 all that time and seeing all those uh, uh -huh. different details. The same with Shadow the Hedgehog. It's like, I wonder what Sonic Heroes has to offer. Maybe I'm really missing something that I didn't see back then. I haven't missed shit. Yeah, this game still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we didn't miss the the, uh, the the top path. What are you talking about? We've That's, been here all this time. It's like, I've, I've you know, I, I am now twice my age since last I played this, you know, as, as, a, you know, as, a, as, as a teenager. So, uh, I... You gotta wonder, maybe uh, in, in my older age, my sensibilities have, have changed and I can look past that. I mean, I still have an unironic appreciation for Shadow the Hedgehog. 
course, that, I'm only chalking that up because it came into my life at the exact right time. But that's why I defend it. That's what's so fun about certain games. It can be the worst game in the world, but to somebody, it's a great game. Yeah. The thing is, I gotta realize that. Yeah, I know, Whoa! Yeah, I know it's a bad game, but I still have fun with it. Uh-huh. Th that, th that sentiment is so rare these days. Well, it just seems like every game is almost the same. Like, you use the same things, nobody takes risks anymore, unless they're an indie dev with nothing to lose. Yeah, because everybody wants to make that money back, so they ha they make the games as safe as possible, so that everybody buys them. The thing is, they make them so safe they're boring, so nobody buys them. Yeah, and... I, I, and then they realize, clearly, we need to make the games more broad and more accessible. They make them even more boring, and they sell even less, and that's how we're gonna get another crash. And yet, well, it, and then, uh, and some indie game where just, oh, what, just some skeleton where you walk around, like, well, a game looks like it was made in, like, 1995, that sells fucking gangbusters! That was the influential Undertale, for those who didn't figure that one out. That's what happens when uh, your game developers are run by businessmen, not game developers. I'll take it from here. Somebody recently asked me, what games are you looking forward to in 2022? And it was just Nintendo games and the Stanley Parable. <laughs> oh, I got a whole list now. See, I just can't Ex think except, of anything. Except the thing is, they're, all, they're games that only I would be stupid excited for. Like what? AI too. Yeah, AI, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative, I am, like, salivating. I am counting down the days until that comes out. I'm also excited for, uh, Chaos Head and yeah, Chaos yeah. Head Noah. That, that was it. So Chaos Child, sorry. So, as we all know, UDJ only likes weeb trash. The roles uh, have no, reversed. Uh, no, Niskol, you're the one who likes the weeb trash. I'm the one who has standards. <laughs> for different types of weeb trash. I actually have a company. I, oh, there, I oh. saw I saw a game at GameStop the other day, Whoa! and I almost I almost got it, but then I saw who the company was, and I was like, no. Uh, I'm trying to think. Hold on. I know it was P Cube that you saw in the box. Yes, it was Busta Fellas. <laughs> I was like, oh, this seems like a fun adventure, like nope. romance, like, uh, but it's but it's P Cube, Never so mind. it's gonna be trash. Utter weeb garbage! I died, I, I <laughs> Do you think Shadow would be into weeb garbage? Mm, no. Are you sure? Definitely sure. Like, what manga would he read? He wouldn't. Oh, come on. He had to have at least read one. Like, if he accidentally walked into a bookstore and he had ten minutes to kill, and he just saw an entire library of manga, which one is he reaching for? Or hell, if he ran into an AV club and had 20 minutes to kill for one anime episode, what do you think? I feel like that he'd like, uh, Akira. I can see that. But that's a full film. It was a manga. Oh, it was, okay. Yeah, okay. I did know that, I don't, don't know why I... Yeah, I better get uh, Rouge uh, regular, regular size before uh, this gets demonetized. <laughs> How big can she get? She's so big we can't see her. She has the big problem. Oh, you, you're... Uh, shadow, into traffic. Uh, uh, shadow, traffic. See, I just, I just want to fly forward, but the thing is, the... the, the there are course will suddenly take a weird turn, and I'll go careening right into a death plane. I can't even find the course. Where are we? Yeah, where are we? Help! Google Earth, help! Oh, there help. we are. <laughs> yeah, we found it. Or I you found it, I didn't do shit. It's somewhere. Whoop! Oh, still good. Still good. All right, still good. If I hang close to the course, see, I don't want to get so close to the course that I get uh, yanked into something I can't get out of. I also don't want to lose my way and go into a death plane. I'm starting to think this is going to mess with Omega's programming so much his head is just going to spontaneously combust. <gasps> Your location is undefined latitude. Redacted latitude. Good job on beating that level. We did. Some hiccups here and there, but you know what? It's okay. Perfect A rank, though, right? Mm hmm. Told you. What's mm -hmm. wrong with me? Everybody gets this rank. It's it's that it's that weird A E rank, you know that that uh, that, yeah, that. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got an A rank. I was just thinking you got the After Effects rank. R right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Good job. Yes. Of course. Of course. Thanks, Adobe. All right, now it's time for uh, Team Rose, which uh, doesn't seem to notice that the city's under attack, because we're just taking a stroll. Mm -hmm. Just taking a stroll. Maybe there's robots there, but who cares? Let's just relax. Amy, are you sure? 
I mean, if you're taking a leisurely stroll and you're destroying robots on your way to the supermarket, I mean, great day. What the hell is this with the I, pinkies? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Like, what happened with the pointer fingers? Uh, I, I, I well, don't why know. not just all your fingertips? That, I, 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 my I, toes really <laughs> just, you know, ha ha! I have them where I want them! <laughs> like, I can see Amy's doing the pinky thing, uh, cream and cheese are just having fun in the background, and Big's like, I want to be a part of this, and shoves his foot in his mouth. <laughs> And then Amy picks up Big with her two pinkies, just... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's how she does reps. She's just so strong with only her pinkies. You are stuck in an invisible wall, friend. I have infinite fly now. Oh, well. There's a death plane. Lovely. We found it. What a huge I love how when Big starts the level, he's just like, Oh, shit! Oh, that would be even more fun if Big was afraid of heights. Traffic! Traffic! Help! Oh, very nice. Still, see, I can fly over this whole level, but I'm wondering, like, it's just gonna end, right? It's gonna be, and we get to. Oh, that's it. That's it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. What's your take on Cream the Rabbit? Good character, bad character? Annoying or not? She's a character. Oh. You can complain about Sonic characters all you want, so nothing will change. They'll either come and go, or they'll stay forever. How has Big not ripped Amy's legs off? It's all water weight. <laughs> so he's not actually that big? He's just, like, a balloon? See, he's big, he's not heavy, though. Oh, he's... Oh, I see. see. That's why he bounces like a beach ball. Oh, oh, no. So, so he's basically like, you know, just a big, gigantic dodgeball. That's essentially what he is. Now I just want to get a big plush and throw it at you. <laughs> but I don't have any Sonic plushes. Damn it. I, I got a shadow plush. You do? He, he, he does not like to live. He, he looks... Is, is, mm. Does he look a little worse for wear? <laughs> it's to a, put it lightly? It, it's a good thing he is not alive. How long have you had that Sonic blush? It I'm was sorry, sorry Shadow. It, it was Violets. Oh, okay. I looked at this and like, the hell is this? This Shadow? They're like, yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got like a carnival or something like that. I was like, oh, it's uh, that's lovely. It's a little derp right now. It's, um, <clears throat> his eyes aren't like his mouth is. Hmm. His shoes are. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. His yeah. body is here. Yeah. His face is... Mm. Yeah, it's very concerning when the shoes are the best-looking thing on the plushie. Here we go! Because they look cool, they got like the... Uh -huh. it, 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 look, it looks accurate. Yeah. It, but but the most crucial thing, the face! The face that I look so good. Well, that's just like, uh... It's the face that make me cry! You know the stupid Totaku figures I was collecting for a while? And then they just decided to stop making them, or... Because you were the only enough. one buying them. I was the only one buying them. Uh, they had a Spyro Reignited one. I was really excited for it, because I was like, sweet, a Spyro figure. I get it, and he's fucking cross-eyed. And that's about the time I was just like, you know what, maybe these aren't a good investment. I wonder why they stopped making them. Hmm. I mean, they're still good-looking figures, but I didn't have room for them. So Derp Spyro. Back in the way. And then they also had a Spyro 3-pack, which also had a derpy cross-eyed one. I was like, wow, two for two, all right. Gotta love those official bootlegs, huh? Official bootlegs. That's a great way to put them. Because I, I remember that company in particular, Totaku, was just like shouting out to all the games they were making figures of, and all the companies did not respond or, or gave like recognition. <laughs> it's just like, oh, please notice me, there's Sony Senpai, and they're like, who the fuck are you? Get out of here, kid. Oh. It's, it's kind of funny to me that a figure would actually fail like that. I'm in the in the world of amiibos, they tried and failed. Whoa, whoa. Don't try to play Nintendo at their own game. Here we go. I think it started with uh, Skylanders. Here we go. Actually, yeah, never mind. Skylanders was first by like a year. But I think Nintendo kind of future-proofed their amiibos, meaning that they can be really big for this game, but not so big for others, but can be used amongst several software titles. That's a clever idea, not gonna lie. It's not like Kinect where you have to basically revamp the entire 
you know, ethos of the console to remove. Yeah. Oh, uh, big skulls don't no. work well! Oh, no! My dude. And you died at 420. How could you? Oh, that was a that was a phase-in chain link fence. Are you still technically under it? No, no it's just when you uh, have infinite fly. You think that sounds good because you just have infinite flying energy, but you have a height limit that you can't break. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, is it be? See, I noticed that fly gauge way too late. Does it know how long that gauge is supposed to last? Technically? No, it's it's just uh, when you start your flying. I think I think the game like makes a note so you can only go so high. Oh. Because you remember in Sonic Adventure Whoa. when we were playing as Tails, you could like you could just like oh you could skip you everything. Could, yeah, you could break levels. Yeah. And now we can't. Great. Great. Cool. Yeah. All right. Now I wonder if the only reason they did that is because there are invisible walls and kill planes everywhere just to make the levels run properly. Hey, another E for everyone. What if, what if they had the teams play differently? Instead, they're all essentially the same. Well, you got Sonic is normal, you got Amy's team is easy, Shadows is hard, and Chaotix is skippable. Alright, let's talk about Chaotix here, yeah. Clear out the enemies in the city. Clear out the fucking enemies in the city. Is Eggman a crime boss? <laughs> is this his territory? We're not allowed to, to dive in here? We'll deliver his hand to Don Corleone! And this is where Kiryu comes in. There's oh. two different mafia tales. You find this boy, Kiryu. You take him, you tell him that he's a good boy. So, uh, bad news. Code doesn't work in this one. It's supposed to be a code that kills all the enemies. Oh. But wouldn't you know, it's not working. I can't- I don't- I don't know why, it's just not deciding to work. So I'm gonna use a different code. Infinite Team Blast. Oh, that's nice. Let's just skip through this a little bit. It's oh, just... thank you, thank you, thank you. If I'm gonna skip it, if I'm gonna skip anything here, I'm gonna skip uh, chaotic shit here. Oh my the God. third time over with codes that we're playing this level here, just killing all the fucking. God, I love when you infinitely bounce on the turtles. It just looks like you're head banging, but with your entire team. How is Charmy supposed to lift all of the- Whoa! Welcome to debug mode! No way! At least it shows debug information. And but what it also does is make the frame rate chug was, to 15 frames a second. I was just second. thinking, yeah! Oh, Holy the lag! Shit. Oh, the slowdown! It cannot tell me the information! Oh, well, I, don't e I don't even know what all this crap is! It's because this game's too fast, bro! Like, what is it? it 1P info, obviously. I'm right here. I'm, I'm one player. Maybe mm -hmm. I should plug in a second and maybe even third controller to see if that does anything. Oh, that'd be funny. I mean, I, I am playing on an actual uh, GameCube here, so. Here we go. Utility off. I, I don't have anything plugged into the bottom. I wonder if it would do anything about a Game Boy player. Uh, relative sphere? Is, is, is that that thing? I, I, I don't know. I, I, what is level zero Jones? This is actually really cool! This, and this is a code? Yeah, show debug information. Oh, that's it? It yeah. just shows it? It doesn't really do anything? Well, not yet. Oh. Well, I'm just glad you have the survey enabled. Hey, uh, can everybody in the comments fill out a survey, please? I have it enabled, but uh, you can't use a utility. Oh, well, then they can't write on it. So how are they going to fill out the survey? You know what, everybody in the comments just put A. Please use your level zero Jones. You also have a level two point pencil. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> level four point pencil. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, I noticed your utility was not only on, but also enabled. So do, do their fingers become like mechanical pencils or something like that? Please fill out the survey. We need this. Hey, Espio, watch this! That's really crazy, Vector. I think this is how he speaks. Something really funny about SBL playing the Shamisen really fast. <laughs> what does Charmy play? A triangle? He, he plays with my heart. Does he, though? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna insert the question that I asked about Cream with Charmy. 
What's your opinion on Charmy the Bee? So it's all about what they offer to the table. Okay. I don't think Chaotix offers a whole lot to the table. Maybe Espio, maybe because he's like a chameleon. He can like turn invisible, and he's like a ninja and stuff like that. Stealthy stuff. You could you could do you could do some fun stuff with that. Uh, Vector, he's a big croc. Oh shit. And you're all forgetting about the other member of Chaotix. Knuckles. No. Oh. I think there was one called Mighty the Armadillo. Oh yeah, he showed up in Mania again. I think. Yeah. What? Being the dynamite, or is that somebody else? Yes. Being the dynamite so, was so also in Mania. If you saw there, uh, Espio can turn invisible, which can like you can like get behind enemies and stuff like that. But the thing is, when you do that, Charmy and Vector lose track of you. No way. And so they idle. Yes. So you'll be running around as invisible Espio, and then you'll hear uh, Vector and Charmy do like idle dialogue, <laughs> like "There's gotta be somewhere in the city we can go" or something. Uh, you know what? Great. <laughs> Great. Great. Oh, th they are just sitting there. I love it. They just sit there and do nothing. I wonder why Espio went. I sure hope he's not around here. It just feels like that with Chaotix, it just added too much. There's a limit here as to what the... It's, 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 it's way too much. Well, I remember this game being huge discourse for, you know, Sonic has too many friends. It was strictly this game. Could, I couldn't imagine why. I mean, didn't they add even more characters after this? Oh, t uh, god, tons. Some of them are actually pretty good, because my favorite Sonic character is Blaze the Cat. Blaze the Cat, Silver the Hedgehog. Silver the Hedgehog sucks. Uh, Silent the Wolf, I, th I think? I haven't really caught up on those IDW characters yet. They have a sniper wolf. It's funny. Well, what do them call like Tangle or something? I don't know. That is, I don't know. Tangle the tree vine. There's, there's Shade the Echidna. <laughs> <laughs> there's <laughs> in Infinite the Loser. And uh, who was... There's uh, Styx the... Yeah, Styx. There's the... Marine the Raccoon. Uh, what other OCs were added after all this? Oh, please survive. Oh, thank you for surviving. Uh, let's see. There's the robot from Sonic Battle. I forgot what his name was. Uh, we have, uh... uh we have, uh, Princess Elise! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Mephilus the Dark! <laughs> We have uh, Cucumber the Carbuncle, that was a great character. Uh, we have... Uh, I can't tell if you're joking anymore. We have Jiminy the Cricket. Uh, I can't tell if you're joking anymore! Uh, we have... Uh, Somari the Adventurer? Flawanderese the Pelican. Oh, he was my favorite character added to the Sonic canon. Uh, we have... Um, we have Dickhead the Rhino, he was my favorite Sonic character. Do you know anything about Ken Penders? No. Oh, Ken Penders... Oh, isn't he the one claiming the... That all of this stuff is his? He's the one who basically single-handedly tanked the Sonic comic before it was sold to IDW. <laughs> he killed the Archie Sonic comic because he's like saying, Yeah, everything in this Sonic world is mine. <laughs> oh, these original characters, they're mine. Uh, Sega would like to have a word with you. And, uh, and, quite a few words and with he, legal documents. And he, he filed a suit against Sega. What? And he thinks he won, but really Sega just doesn't give a shit because they're not doing anything with those characters anyway. Oh, wow. So the characters he created, they're... He claims they are his and his alone, and nobody gives it enough of a shit. He's he's real big on the Echidna lore. But uh, Sega, I think, is gonna do whatever they want with the Echidnas whenever they feel like it, and uh, Ken Penders can't stop them. But because they're not doing anything to stop him right now, he thinks he's won. So now he's saying, I know I own everything. Everything, every single thing that's an Echidna is mine. Every character in the comic that showed up, including all these variations, are mine. And everyone's just like, you're an idiot. And he's like, well, that's your opinion, but it, it, the law is on my side. He's absolute <laughs> he's he's he, he stinks about as bad as uh, the insert Sonic game here. It's very interesting. I mean, what what was your favorite character of his that came into being? Just tell me honestly. None. Oh, because all of his characters suck. Not even Butthole the Hercules Beetle. Oh, how, how about a character named Jeffrey St. John who apparently had sex with Princess Sally when she was sixteen before Sonic could get on that. <laughs> 
Oh, 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 Niskel, my good buddy, good friend. Oh, no! That is not a joke. Oh, no! It's like, Sonic may be fast, but J J oh, Jeffrey no! St. Jo Jeffrey St. John the fucking skunk was faster than him on that regard. No! I'm being real with you. Oh, no! So, uh, we had to restart the level because we didn't get all the enemies. Oh, I but, noticed you looped but, around. But what is nice is that when you kill all the enemies, it makes the rest of it kind of nice. But then you got these ridiculous times for your level going on now. So you have to be perfect your first time through the level is what I'm hearing. If you want an A rank, son! Well, don't you want an A rank? I can get an A rank if I want it. Okay. I'll get whatever A rank I feel like. It's a shame that the uh, explode all robots code didn't work. Yeah. Have you run into any other codes that just did not work? Yeah. Damn it. Were they good ones? Yeah. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, congratulations. We got, we got that though. We're finally done with it. Jeez. Give me the give, give me the rank we all deserve. Yeah, we all. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ha -ha. Everyone. Ah, e, e for E. Yeah. What kind of level was that? All right, second half of the city, next time on Sonic Heroes Action Replay. See you next time. What goes up must come down. Yeah, my feet don't touch the ground.